Time now, 6.30. Call this meeting order, Land and Natural Resources and Culture Preservation Committee. Today is November 1st, 2023. Invocation, I'd like to ask Representative Joe if you could offer that first appearance. Let us pray. Father God, we just thank you for this day you've given to us, Lord. We know that, you know, the seasons are changing. It's gotten a little cooler, but still, we're so thankful that you allow us to, you know, just to be able to move around and, and just do your business, Lord, for this tribe. And so we just ask as we go into this meeting that you watch over every decision, Lord, and just bless it as we cast our votes this evening. We give you thanks for all things, Lord, in your precious name I do pray. Amen. Thank you. Next is we have a roll call, legislative clerk. Tracy Knobloch. Joseph Hicks. Here. Charles McHenry. Here. Galen Cloud. Here. Gerald Proctor. Here. Nelson Harjo. Here. Chairman, you have five present and zero absent. Five present and zero absent constitutes a quorum. Any business conducted this evening will be official. Next, we have his approval minutes for October 10th, 2023. Here. I'd like to make a motion to approve the minutes uh, with any necessary changes. Motion has been made by Representative Harjo to approve the minutes with any necessary changes. Taken by Representative McHenry. Roll call. Nelson Harjo. Yes. Jalen Cloud. Yes. Joseph Hicks. Yes. Charles McHenry. Yes. Chairman, I have four in favor and zero against. Four in favor and zero against. Those minutes have been approved for October 10th, 2023. Down to order of business. Chair, I'd like to make a motion to move NCA 23-141 to the top of the order. Motion be made by Representative Cloud to move NCA 23-141 to the top of the agenda. Second. Second by Representative McHenry. Oh, sorry, Representative Hicks. Roll call, please. Galen Cloud? Yes. Joseph Hicks? Yes. Charles McHenry? Yes. Nelson Harjo? Yes. Chairman, you have four in favor and zero against. Four in favor and zero against. Motion passes. Move NCA 23 141 to the top of the agenda. <clears throat> NCA 23 141, a law of Muscoe Creek Nation authorizing the expenditure of American Rescue Plan Act ARPA physical relief funding received from the United States Department of the Treasury. For matching funds in collaboration with the state of Oklahoma for the American Rescue Plan Act, ARPA Tribal Cooperation Grant Program, sponsored Joseph Hicks. Chair, make a motion to do pass. Motion for do pass by Representative Hicks. Second. Second by Representative McHenry. Discussion. We got Bobby Howard. Yep. Evening, Chairman, uh, National Council. This NCA is in support of the TR which the National Council passed in March. Uh, the NCA was not done at that time, and we need to assign the funding, approve the funding source, which is ARPA funds. But we need the NCA so we can load the budget. On the 28th of this month, we will do the MOU signing, which you guys will all get an invitation to. We'll be at River Spirit, where all the communities will come in, and we will start putting shovels in the ground on all 14 projects. All right, thank you. Uh, any questions from committee? Any questions from council online or any audience? Hearing none, roll call vote. Joseph Hicks? Yes. Charles McHenry? Yes. Nelson Harjo? Yes. Kaylin Cloud? Yes. Chairman, you have four in favor and zero against. Four in favor and zero against. That motion passes. Back to top of uh, the order of business, uh, Muscogee Creek Nation National Nation Emergency Assistance Grant, Lika United Methodist Church, David Dunson.
Okay, thank you. You have any questions? Motion. Motion been made by Representative McHenry to approve the emergency assistance grant and seconded by Representative Harjo. Can you say the amount again? Oh, it, this one is for 5000 Forty three ninety nine twenty. And then who was the second? Charles McHenry. Yes. Nelson Hardo. Yes. Kaylin Cloud. Yes. Joseph Hicks. Yes. Chairman, you have four in favor and zero against. Four in favor and zero against. That motion passes. Next item we have is Muskogee Creek Nation. Muskogee Creek Traditional Church Summer Church Camp Grant Morning Stall Evangelistic Center. Nigel Big Pond for twenty five hundred. Oh. <laughs> okay, you just did that, didn't you? Okay, this is a, a historical moment for our tribe, all the tribes actually, especially the Creek and the Muscogee, I mean Muscogee Creek and the Uchi tribes as well. Uh, for a long time, it has, we've been working on Georgia to ask for forgiveness to the tribes, to ask forgiveness for all the things that they did on the Trail of Tears and things of this nature. And there's a, there will be a lot of Native people there, different tribes too. They want to uh, see how this works. Different tribes from Canada and from different states are coming there and because they've never seen anything like this before. So I believe it is a, a historical moment for the Muscogee Creek Nation, especially and the other tribes as well, uh, to be a part of this. And, and I personally worked on this with uh, Daphne Swilling to get this uh, approved by the state of Georgia. And um, I'm hoping that uh, I'll be able to go and take others down there to, to represent our people. All right, thank you. Do you have any questions from committee? Sarah, make a motion. Motion be made by Representative McHenry to approve the church Camp Grant for 2500 seconded by Representative Harjo. Roll call. Charles McHenry? Yes. Nelson Harjo? Yes. Galen Cloud? Yes. Joseph Hicks? Yes. Chairman, you have four in favor, zero against. Four in favor and zero against. That motion passes. The item we have is Muskogee Creek Traditional Church Summer Church Camp Grant Covenant Harvest Ministries. Betty Pulver? I'd like to thank everyone for um, having us to come tonight, and uh, we're just keeping every one of y'all in prayer. You're doing a, a wonderful job for our uh, Creek Nation, and we also will be attending uh, this uh, historical event in Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia, and uh, we will be taking uh, two students with us, and they were just dis uh, dismissed from their classes in order to go along on this trip. And when they come back, they will give a report uh, to the JOM um, 
people whenever they have their meetings. So I think this is really going to be a, a, a good time to, to see the state of Georgia to uh, give the apology to all of the, the Removal Act and uh, just come into agreement and in unity with one another. And just like uh, Pastor Nigel said, uh, there will be a lot of tribes attending this. And I would like to invite uh, the council even to come to this. This would be uh, November the 8th, and it'll be at 2 o'clock, and it will be at the Capitol in Atlanta. Okay, thank you. Questions? No questions? I make a motion that we approve the uh, grant for Covenant Harvest Ministries. $2,500. Motion been made by Representative McHenry to approve the church camp grant for $2,500. Second. Seconded by Representative Hicks. Roco. Charles McHenry? Yes. Nelson Harjo? Yes. Kalen Cloud? Yes. Joseph Hicks? Yes. Chairman, you have four in favor and zero against. Four in favor and zero against. It has been approved for $2,500. Okay, that concludes the uh, grant applications. Uh, next, first item we have is TR 23 115, a tribal resolution of Muskogee Creek Nation authorizing the principal chief to execute a grant of a permanent easement to establish a reinterment cemetery in the ancestral lands of the Muskogee Creek, <coughs> excuse me, Creek Nation. Sponsors, Galen Cloud. Chair, make a motion to do pass. Motion for due pass by Representative Cloud. Second. Second by Representative Hicks. Discussion. Chair, we have uh, Ms. Raylan Butler online. Okay. Okay, Ms. Butler. Yes, thank you, Chairman. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Thank you, everyone. This this is a resolution to sign on to become a permanent easement um, holder to lands in our homelands that would be used as a reinterment cemetery. Um, and this is with a federal agency, and they're allowing us to use these lands, but again, are requiring this um, permanent easement to do so. And the easement um, has jurisdiction in that state. And there are areas or language that waives the nation's sovereign immunity um, in the easement. And it also makes us responsible for some liability to this land if something was to happen in the future. Um, and so that, that's the basis. But um, I would like to share a little bit of background about this. Um, you know, we have been working with NAGPRA, the Native American Graves Protection and Repatriation Act, since the 90s. NAGPRA is 33 years old this month, and we have helped repatriate, rebury more than a thousand of our ancestors that were excavated from our homelands in the last 20 years that the nation has done NAGPRA work. Um, last week, we helped rebury um, 189 ancestors. And that's the most we've ever done. And it was uh, very challenging, emotional, uh, but very proud of our, our staff and team that, that helped us carry on that. You know, when you go and see these in a museum, you know, you, you don't prepare to see skeletons like that. And so it's, it's a tough reality of the work that we're doing. Um, but one of the major needs is land, trying to we bury, as everybody knows, we don't don't have lands in the homelands, um, and we want to rebury these ancestors as close to where they were dug up, and and so this federal agency has quite a large collection. Um, this land, we would be able to rebury more than two thousand ancestors, um, which is very much needed. Um, we have been waiting and trying to work for the agency to, to help make these lands available. And we hope that we didn't have to have such a legal process or agreement like this. 
Um, it's basically a 99 year easement on this land. Um, but it, it makes us the primary care holder and responsible party of anything that happens on this land uh, in the future. And so if another tribe wants to, to use this land and a request from this federal agency to do so, to rebury their ancestors, um, they would facilitate that request through us. And it, it could require that we develop an MOA um, or MOU with that tribe stating that they will use this land for that purpose only. You know, some of the, the risks, I guess, are their concerns with the federal agency saying, like, if there's an environmental hazard or spill or fire that comes through, they're not held responsible um, for that. And, and the same thing, I think these same clauses we would have to put on another tribe if they were to use this land um, to say, if you're going to rebury your ancestors in this cemetery, which is uh, 16 acres, um, that, you know, they would have to go through our approval process and sign some kind of an agreement as well so that, you know, we're not liable for, for something that they may do in the future. So um, I'll, I'll take any questions that you guys have, but that's just a little bit of background of what this is and why we're um, seeking approval to get it signed. Thank you. All right. Thank you. We have any questions from committee? Uh, yes, go ahead, Representative Cloud. Ray Lynn, I, uh, I have a quick question on this. Uh, if if we do get this land here and uh, we do uh, we bury our uh, ancestors on this property, uh, how are we going to if if we're down here? I mean, if the with the MOU. Uh, consist of uh, the tribe or the agency that's going to take care of, of this uh, ground here? Yes, basically that that's part of what we've told them is, you know, we're, you know, hundreds of miles away. How can we monitor this land? And, and one of the things is that they would put up cameras and help us because this is their, you know, property. Um, but there's an agreement on, on kind of what the federal agency will help us do and what we will do. You know, they will maintain, you know, there wouldn't be any requirements for us to mow this. The goal would really be to let this go back to nature, this land, and to not have any kind of um, regular upkeep or, or maintenance on it. Um, but there, there's um, a document in there that outlines the responsibilities of, the, of both parties. Um, that kind of talks about the management side of it and how they're they're very much going to be involved in any of the any planning of use of the land in coordination with us. And um, we we may be required to make a yearly site visit to monitor, you know, to check on things. And I think we would incorporate that into the historic and culture preservation. Um, we go out so frequently that we could easily, you know, check on this property every time we were in, t in the area. Got one more. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, one more question, Ray Lynn. I know uh, we still have uh, problems with looting. Um, if, will this, I mean, who would, who would have access to where this, where our location, where, where the location is gonna be at? And w w will it be patrolled uh, often, or, or or is that going to be part of the MOU for the security? Yeah, so there, place? so the security will be very important, and that's actually why we haven't state stated where this is going to be in the legislation, and that it's it's held uh, confidential confidentially between us and that federal agency. Um, but also that there will be uh, measures taken to ensure that, that that information on the location is kept safe um, and restricted information for as needed basis on people on their side and people on our side. Um, and there's also um, security measures that would be funded. So for example, um, some people have used um, concrete caps or metal mesh, which is, you know, maybe, so for example, once they dig a grave that they would bury 
the ancestors and their objects and then have several feet of soil and then place a metal grate um, on top or put in a concrete cap um, that then would, you know, be um, then with more dirt and soil on top of that is kind of a, an underground security measure so that nobody would be able, some of these metal gates are, you, you would have to have a diamond cut tip um, um, tool to actually penetrate that kind of steel. And um, if somebody was doing that level of excavation, they'd have to have a backhoe or, uh, you know, some heavy duty equipment that would definitely uh, cause alarms before, you know, people would notice like there, there would be measures like that in place so that somebody with a shovel wouldn't be able to ever access those uh, burials. But also this is a fenced property. Um, so there would be um, good security enforcement and cameras on the, on the area. Well, I have chair. Thank you. All right, thank, thank you, Ray Lynn. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, I, I guess my question is kind of along those lines too, looking at security wise, because, you know, our ancestors, you know, uh, it's just, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think I'd really want to see all that either myself, you know, going out there and seeing the skeletal bones of our people. And, you know, I just hope that now that once this is, this happens that, uh, they're not also part of a tourist attraction too, as well to where people can go by and say, well, this is a picture of where native Americans are buried. And that's one of the things I, I think that would probably be pretty upsetting. Thank you. No, I agree hundred percent. And that's definitely, we're not going to have any kind of monuments or above ground, anything to designate this as a cemetery by, by any way that a pub, public member may, may think of it as that way. All right. Any more questions or comments? Hearing none. Roll call vote. Jalen Cloud? Yes. Joseph Hicks? Yes. Charles McHenry? Yes. Nelson Harjo? Yes. Chairman, you have four in favor, zero against. Four in favor and zero against. That motion passes. Next item we have is TR 23-116. Proper resolution of Muscogee Creek Nation authorizing the principal chief to execute a Muscogee Creek Nation Department of Housing contract with Jeffrey and Ramona Gormley. Sponsor is Nelson Harjo Sr. Chair, make a motion for due pass. Motion for due pass by Representative Harjo. Second by Representative Hicks. Discussion. Yes, go ahead. Good evening, Council. Uh, this tribal resolution is just to execute a contract um, with the Gormley real estate company for a purchase of a five bedroom home in the Glimple area. Uh, this, ho this house would actually go to the next person on our waiting list. Um, and they're currently in need of a five bedroom home. So uh, we were lucky enough to find this house and uh, we jumped on it. We started a contract with them and hoping to execute it. Also, we can have Ms. McIntosh come up too. No, you don't have anything. Okay. Questions? Yes, go ahead. Does this house be ready to move in or will there be renovations or? Uh, no, sir, it's ready to move in. It's completely renovated. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. More questions from committee? No questions, Roll call vote. Nelson Harjo? Yes. Jalen Cloud? Yes. Joseph Hicks? Yes. Charles McHenry? Yes. Chairman, you have four in favor, zero against. Four in favor and zero against. That motion passes. Thank you. Thank you. Next item we have is TR 23-117. Tribal resolution of Skull Creek Nation authorizing the principal chief to execute a contract accepting a donation of land located in Hughes County, Oklahoma. 
sponsors, Galen Cloud. Chair, make a motion to do pass. Motion for do pass by Representative Cloud. Second. Second by Representative Hicks. Discussion. Here we have Anya. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot your name. Good evening. This is um, a piece of property that we've been working on for some time. Um, donation of a lot in Wicumca. And the community actually brought this to me um, about a year ago. And the gentleman that's, him and his wife that's wanting to donate it to the tribe, got it at a tax sale, and they no longer live in the area, and they're just, they have no need for it, and they just wanted to donate it to the tribe. It's a vacant lot. The first tract, which is um, TR-23-117, is the tract that's closest to the community. Do you have a map? Can I send a map? Yes. We would we would authorize the chief to put it in his property that we purchased. So. We have any questions? Questions from committee? I think all of our information that she has in the packet here, it shows the... Uh, that map and uh, the county records. And there is an aerial picture of also. No questions? Roll call vote. Galen Club? Yes. Joseph Hicks? Yes. Charles McHenry? Yes. Nelson Harjo? Yes. Chairman, you have four in favor and zero against? Four in favor and zero against. That motion passes. Next item we have is TR 23 118, the child resolution of Muskoka Creek Nation authorizing Principal Chief to execute a contract accepting a donation of land located in Hughes County, Oklahoma. Sponsors Galen Cloud. Here, make a motion to do pass. Motion for due pass by Representative Cloud. Second by Representative Harjo. Discussion. Thank you, Toss. Uh, same um, family wanting to donate a track of land that's a little bit further down the road, still in the city. Um, no longer live in, in the town and wanting to donate it to the tribe. Okay, questions from committee? Hearing none, roll call vote. Galen Club? Yes. Joseph Hicks? Yes. Charles McHenry? Yes. Nelson Harjo? Yes. Chairman, you have four in favor and zero against? Four in favor and zero against, that motion passes. Next item we have is TR 23-119, a tribal resolution of Muskoka Creek Nation authorizing Principal Chief to execute a real estate contract for the purchase of property in Oatmogee, Oklahoma. Sponsor is Nelson Harjo Sr. Chair, make a motion for due pass. Motion for due pass by Representative Harjo. Second by Representative McHenry. Discussion. This time I'll use Chairman. Ms. McIntosh. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just present the legislation. I think there are several people here to talk about it, but this is a track, a 40-acre track on Highway 75, and I believe there was an updated appraisal that should have came out dated October 19, 2023. I'll have that in your possession. 
not I have one. Chairman Proctor. Uh, yes, go ahead. Yeah, this is the uh, second chief. Um, would it be okay if we go into executive session to talk about this just for a couple minutes? Uh, yes. Yes, we'll make a motion to go into executive session. Start. Motion been made by Representative Harger to go into executive session. Seconded by Representative McHenry. I don't think it was in there. Nelson Harjo? Yes. Jalen Cloud? Yes. Joseph Hicks? Yes. Charles McHenry? Yes. Chairman, you have four in favor and zero against. Four in favor and zero against. Uh, time in executive session, executive session is 7.02. Okay, we are back at a executive session. Back to the main motion on the floor for due pass. Any more questions or comments? All right, hearing none, roll call vote. Nelson Harjo? Yes. Galen Cloud? Yes. Joseph Hicks? Yes. Charles McHenry? Yes. Chairman, you have four in favor and zero against? Four in favor and zero against. That motion passes. Next item we have is NCA 23-136, a law in Skull Creek Nation authorizing expenditure of grant funds awarded from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency for the benefit of GEO's special department. Sponsor of Joseph Hicks. I make a motion to do pass. Motion for do pass by Representative Hicks. Second. Second by Representative McHenry. Discussion. Here uh, looks like we got um, Jesse Allen online. Or we got. Uh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm here, or I don't know if, if Frank Harjo is in attendance. Yeah, he's coming back in. Okay. So, sorry about that. Uh, good evening, Council. So, the first grant is uh, part of our one, tw uh, the Brownfield. Do you speak in the microphone, funding. please? Okay. Can you hear? Yeah. Okay. So, the uh, first one is for the uh, Brownfields 128 um, A program. It's for the uh, bipartisan infrastructure law funding, and it's in the amount of four hundred eighteen thousand and thirty-one dollars. And primarily, a lot of this is going to be used towards uh, the funding of equipment, um, supplies, and we have contractual as well. It's going to be in the larger funding, and the uh, personnel is going to supplement some of our um, current personnel funding that we also have as well. Okay. Questions? Questions from committee? No questions from committee. Any uh, questions from council online? Hearing none, roll call vote. Joseph Hicks? Yes. Charles McHenry? Yes. Nelson Hardo? Yes. Galen Cloud? Yes. Chairman, you have four in favor and zero against. Four in favor and zero against. That motion passes. Next item we have is NCA 23 137, Lama's Good Creek Nation authorizing expense for grant funds awarded from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency for the benefit of the GEO Special Department. Sponsors Galen Cloud. Chair, make a motion to do pass. Motion to do pass by Representative Cloud. Second. Taken by Representative McKen uh, excuse me, uh, Representative Hicks. Discussion, yes. So th this one is again, part of the uh, Brownfields 128A program. It's the regular funding that we get on an annual basis. 
Um, so this one's the more straightforward one, just to kind of supplement or to uh, basically run a program with general um, kind of the main amounts going to a salary and, and fringe and IDC. Um, so it's just kind of a standard amount. I believe we have an additional 20,000 in, in this line item as well to do technical assistance for communities. Um, so one of the goals for that one too is to go out and help communities collect some infrastructure data as well as part of this. Okay, thank you. Questions from committee? Questions from council online? Hearing none, roll call vote. Kalen Cloud? Yes. Joseph Hicks? Yes. Charles McHenry? Yes. Nelson Harjo? Yes. Chairman, you have four in favor, zero against. Four in favor and zero against. That motion passes. Next item we have is NCA 23-138. Lawman School Creek Nation appropriating funds to be used for the transactional costs related to accepting donated real property located in Hughes County, Oklahoma. Sponsors, Galen Cloud. Chair, make a motion to be passed. Motion to be passed by Representative Cloud. Second. Seconded by Representative Hicks. Discussion. This is just uh, funding for any incidental costs for abstracting for the title up to date. That. Okay. All right, thank you. Questions? Questions from Council Online? Roll call vote. Kalen Cloud? Yes. Joseph Hicks? Yes. Charles McHenry? Yes. Nelson Harjo? Yes. Chairman, you have four in favor, zero against. Four in favor and zero against. That motion passes and be forward to BFNJ funding source. Next item is, we have is NCA 23 139, allowing Let's Go Creek Nation appropriating funds to be used for transactional costs related to accepting donated real property located in Hughes County, Oklahoma. Sponsors, Galen Cloud. Chair, make a motion to do pass. Motion for do pass by Representative Cloud. Second. Seconded by Representative Hicks. Discussion. Or. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Questions from committee? Council online? Hearing none, roll call vote. Kalen Cloud? Yes. Joseph Hicks? Yes. Charles McHenry? Yes. Nelson Harjo? Yes. Chairman, you have four in favor, zero against. Four in favor and zero against. That motion passes and be forward to BFNJ for funding source. Last item we have is NCA 23-140. Alamo School Creek Nation authorizing the expenditure of American Rescue Plan Act, ARPA funds received from the United States Department of the Treasury for the purchase of property located in Okmulgee County, Oklahoma. Sponsor is Nelson Harjo, Sr. Chair, make a motion for due pass. Motion for due pass by Representative Harjo. Second. Second by Representative McHenry. Discussion. The funding source also includes incidental. Questions from council uh, committee or online? Hearing nine, roll call vote. Nelson Harjo? Yes. Galen Cloud? Yes. Joseph Hicks? Yes. Charles McHenry? Yes. Chairman, you have four in favor, zero against. Four in favor and zero against. That motion passes. That concludes order of business. Oh, we. we oh, yeah. yeah. Concludes order business. We're down in other business. Uh, we have no items in other business and announcements. Uh, tomorrow, BFNJ will be having their at three o'clock. And down to our benediction, which will serve as our adjournment. I'd like to ask Representative McHenry if you'd offer that for us. Most gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we praise your holy name. Just giving thanks, Father, for time and opportunity. 
that we're able to come and assemble ourselves and conduct the <coughs> business of our nation, Father. Lord, we just ask that you continue to bless our nation, Father, continue to lead us, continue to guide us. Thank you for your favor. Thank you for your increase. Thank you for the blessings, Father, upon the decisions that were made tonight. We ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Turn to 7.29. All right. <laughs> yeah.